Archana is actually very special girl. She joined in Paris and yesterday Shoma was telling me that about her involvement in ISKCON that she was most of the time she was the only girl surrounded by Brahmacharya. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that was Archana's situation in Paris. She was the only girl. But every day she was going out distributing books all by herself. Without fail, she was going out every day. Then another very special girl is Krishna Priya. Uh, she is originally from South Africa. She is a very, very dedicated devotee. She, well, uh, she joined, what, 25? 30 years. Oh, 30. Yeah, I mean, sorry, yeah, 30 years, yeah. 25 years, yeah, like completely dedicated, yeah. <laughs> so, and she is married, she is, she has three children, she lives near Alachua, but every weekend she comes here to help us. She is, uh, first thing she started to help us, you know, like I wanted to have a lot of, uh, fruit trees and flowering garden. And so she had the fruit tree. I mean, we got a whole lot of fruit trees. And uh, she came in on her own. She came and she started to help her. And then when we were working on the that building, she just came on her own and started to help there. I never knew that she had this expertise. <laughs> <laughs> And she was acting like she was working just like a professional. <laughs> so <clears throat> another visiting devotee is Shama. She is from she is also from South Africa, but now she is living in America for how many years now, Shama? Nineteen years. Nineteen years. Wow, time really flies. <laughs> <laughs> so she lives in Dallas. She came to visit. And so, and I must just must tell you that these girls are so nice. Like, you know, like, you can really much, I'm being frank, you know, like there, there was a space constraint. Like, we had to give certain number of rooms to you all. And and then with the women we had a problem where to fit in eight women with those who came with your group because so we could at the most arrange three rooms but in order to arrange three rooms these girls had to move out and vacate one room and four, they told me no problem four of them <laughs> four of them cramped into one room and so that we could actually vacate one, another room for Arigo. the ladies. <laughs> there are two other boys also, they're in the kitchen, Radha Radhya and Indriyesh. Radha Radhya is, uh, uh, anyway, both of them are actually from Ujjain, but Radha Radhya was serving in South Africa. And Indriyesh used to cook for me when I was in Ujjain. And you will see both of them are very good cooks. I know some of you would like to express your cooking abilities. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, of course, I mean, you all are experts, you know, like, no doubt about that. And But in our team, they are you know, quite good. <laughs> <laughs> then locally, we are getting very good support from Dwey Payan. Dwey Payan works here in, uh, in Orlando. Uh, 
you are not in Deloitte, see, like Verizon. Verizon. Oh, Verizon. 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 Yeah, he works in Verizon, and his wife Shraddhanjali. Shraddhanjali is uh, originally from North Carolina, yeah? yes, right? <laughs> Charlotte. Yes. Right? That's where I met her first. Mm -hmm. That was how many years back? Two thousand. Two thousand and two. Two thousand. Two thousand. 2001, yeah. That is before she got married to Daipayan. <laughs> and Shraddhajan is also very supportive. And uh, their daughter, uh, Gopisha. Gopisha, Gopisha, very talented girl. At the other day, I was listening to her singing. Actually, she came to learn to sing from one of the boys who just went back to India. He's a very good singer, but I was singing. Kopisha is a very talented singer also. She has a very sweet voice. So, <clears throat> and now I hand it over to Aditya Narayan <laughs> to introduce the visiting devotees. <laughs> Let me first introduce Aditya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very special devotee, very wonderful devotee. Mm -hmm. He came to America to study from India. He's actually, his home is not too far from Ujjain. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the name? Khargon. 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 In Madhya Pradesh. And so he did his engineering in India. Were you from IIT? No. Okay. And anyway, so he came to do his higher studies. And he was in Orlando, actually. He was studying and then he was teaching in the university when he completed his, uh, was it master's? Or and PhD? Both. Both, yeah, master's and PhD. And, um, like, <laughs> very qualified. <laughs> but he was staying in the temple. And sometimes in the temple there was only one devotee for Mangalaratik <laughs> in Orlando Temple. I heard that he used to do the Mangalaratik, lead the Kirtan. <laughs> And maybe also dance with them. <laughs> <laughs> he had been very, very exemplary. Then he got married to a very special girl, <laughs> Ratna Radhika Devidasi. Ratna Radhika's parents are our god brother and god sister. They are very, very dear. Actually, Ratna Radhika's father was in Europe, in Belgium, and in 1987, I became the GBC of Belgium. And so I used to go, and I used to see these two girls <laughs> looking out of the window, <laughs> two little children, and watching me, what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> so one of them was Ratna Radhika, the elder one was Ratna Radhika. And <clears throat> then of course his father moved back to America. He came back to Detroit first, yes. yeah? Yeah. And anyway, by Krishna's divine arrangement, she got married to Aditya Narayan. <laughs> <laughs> and so, okay, Aditya Narayan, you introduce everyone. No Maybe you can come here and take the mic. Hare Krishna. So, uh, let's start with this is Ajay Govinda Prabhu and my wife Kirtida Sundari Mataji and their son Utkrist. So they have been in uh, North Carolina for uh, three years 
and uh, they are actually very powerful preachers. They actually lead a bhakti rish and uh, very enthusiastic in distributing Srila Prabhupada's books and uh, wonderful cooks and they also serve the deities. They do amazing service in North Canada. So uh, I to introduce them and then Utkrish is like a best Mritanga player and best Kirtan singer in our temple. So uh, a very wonderful family. <laughs> I'd like to introduce uh, Vikasan Krishna Prabhu and uh, Mataji is uh, Radha Rangini Mataji and their son Rangini Radha Rangini 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 so they actually just recently moved from uh, Laguna Beach, like over uh, six, seven months. Six, seven months. Okay, so uh, uh, they've been in a community and uh, just meeting them, having their association, very uh, wonderful devotees, very exemplary, and uh, it's just very nice to have their association and uh, they're discussing how uh, Prabhu and Mataji they all can, can contribute in our community, so it's very nice to have them. So, this is another wonderful family. <laughs> then, uh, here, here is uh, Kishore Mukunda Prabhu and uh, Mataji, Hema Gopika Mataji, right there. And uh, this is their daughter, Sri Kari, and son, Manjuna. So, uh, they actually uh, have been coming, like, they actually initially got connected with uh, Ajay Govind Prabhu and Kirtana Sundari Mataji's Bhakti Vrish. And, uh, as soon as it uh, met devotees, they took up Krishna consciousness very wonderfully. And uh, last year, <coughs> and last year they received initiation by Guru Maharaj. So uh, very very enthusiastic family. So, very <coughs> and uh, we have a uh, Krishna Das Prabhu who's sitting behind. <laughs> <laughs> so, Krishna Das Prabhu, uh, wonderful wonderful devotees. Uh, is uh, in Hillsborough for a very long time. Yeah. How many years? Uh, since '95. Since 1995. Yeah. Uh, he stays very close to the temple, actually, very close to us, and uh, wonderful, very sincere devotee. And uh, I think Guru Maharaj can speak more of Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Krishna Das is a very special devotee. He actually uh, came in contact with his con in Singapore. Which year was that? Uh, Must be in the early 80s. Early 80s, yeah. And he uh, became very attractive. And his is it because of you that your brothers also got involved? It's because of my brother I got involved. Oh, it's your brother. And his brother, oh, right, that must be. Because his brother was, his eldest brother was uh, our god brother who left his body three years back. Three years back. Two years back, yeah. Yeah, Lalita Govinda. Lalita Krishna. Lalita Krishna. Lalita Krishna. Yeah. And Krishna Das is very, very dedicated. He has two daughters. They, <coughs> bra. They're very talented musicians. Like the both of them play piano and violin, and it's mainly piano. Like uh, Tul was it Tulsi that who got the uh, the became first in the yeah to his younger daughter Tulsi and piano she actually became the champion in the state, in the state of North Carolina, and she represented North Carolina in the national competition. <laughs> Very talented, actually, both of them. Srimati is a journalist now, and Tulasi is a medic. She's uh, the research assistant. She's doing research. Okay. Both of them are very talented. And uh, the, his wife, is a very, very wonderful devotee. 
right? Eva, <coughs> she's also from Singapore. And <coughs> actually, I think a lot of credit goes to Eva for bringing up the children. <laughs> she has been, and she's coming actually from a very high class family background. Her, her brother is a, is a very big government official, official in Singapore. And Singapore is such a strict country that because Eva became a devotee of Hare Krishna, her brother actually more or less distanced himself because Singapore government, you know, like don't allow any kind of involvement in the cult and things. Singapore is the only country where Prabhupada was not allowed to go in. Anyway, and on top of everything, Eva is a fantastic cook. <laughs> and whenever I go to North Carolina, I stay at Krishna Das's place. <laughs> because they had been taking care of me so nicely since I was there. I actually lived in North Carolina for for no, Six five, months. five years from 2000, yeah, 1999 actually, yeah. till 2004. For five years I lived in North Carolina. At one time I was just staying. Those, those days I did not get to know Krishna Das so well. I got, I was staying just next to his house. Guru, I was to stay with Guru Goranga those days, and Guru Goranga's house was just next to Krishna Das's house. North Carolina. Yeah, I mean, we're so happy that you came, Krishna. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you so you. much. And thank you for taking care of me so nicely. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <coughs> you have to. One more time. Yes, that's it. <coughs> so, uh, there is a uh, behind, uh, right? There is Shankar Prabhu and. Uh, okay, yes, yeah. Rekha Mataji and their son Karthik is inside. But they actually have uh, recently started coming to again Ajay Goen Prabhu and Kirtan Mataji Bhakti Vrish and uh, Mataji was telling me like as soon as they started coming, Mataji started chanting 16 rounds and she's very pakka in her chanting and uh, before like 7 o'clock in the morning she has all her rounds done and very sincere. So uh, they're, like their first visit here, meeting Guruma. So, very, very enthusiastic family. So, we are happy to have them. Is Shankar... Is Shankar ahead of her or behind her? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still in transition to it. Huh? is leading. Yeah, what is <laughs> How does Mataji feel about it? <laughs> Anyway, Shankar, how many rounds you are chanting? Two. Is it? <laughs> it, it was zero. I just started one, now two. So I'm still in transition phase. But already Mataji is leading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can understand that you're working and probably it's difficult for to manage the time. Are you working? Okay. What's your name, Ajay? Rekha. Rekha, okay. So, okay. So that's the thing. Maybe, uh, like, you should free him. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> Thank you very much, actually. I'm so happy that all of you came and Actually, uh, <clears throat> this is the one of the most important aspects of this project. We want devotees to come here and get a feel of Krishna consciousness. And when uh, we make proper facilities for accommodation, like right now you can see, like we don't really have proper facilities. Like, the, boy, the men are staying in a situation where you have to use a common bath and toilets. The ladies are okay, they have attached baths. We don't have enough attached baths actually, the rooms with attached baths. 
So our next project, one of the next project will be to build facilities where we have a thing about 16 rooms, guest house with attached bath. And <clears throat> we submitted the plan for two such buildings here. And when we get the plan approved by the city authorities, we'll start building. And one of our target is actually to make arrangements for 100 devotees before the July 18th, yeah? Mm -hmm. July, July 18th seminar or retreat here. Yeah. And one thing I was thinking that, uh, you know, Daipan, I didn't tell you, but what I'm thinking also is that once we build that facility with the rooms with attached bars, we'll have arrangements that householders, you know, families from nearby area, they can come here for the weekend. They can come here on Friday, stay through Saturday and Sunday, not just coming for Sunday, right. uh, Sunday feast. That's kind of just not really kind of that lasting impression. So the families can come here, <coughs> especially with the children. What do you think of that idea? It's very huh? Very good idea. Like, uh, I know, like, if a facility like that is there, Shradhanjali, like, I mean, like, you came today, why go back home? <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, why go back home? <laughs> when you have to come back again for Sunday. <laughs> so might as well stay through Saturday, Sunday, and then go back in the evening of Sunday. And uh, okay, incidentally, I can also tell you one thing that we are. You, I'll show you. There is one area. There, is, there used to be a huge grill mm. there, and that grill will turn it into a pizza oven. <laughs> I can see you now. Everybody loves pizza. I knew that. And that's why the menu for today's lunch is pizza. <laughs> So, yeah, so the thing is, you know, like the families can come and stay here. They can come on Friday night and stay through Friday evening and stay through Friday night, Saturday night, and even Sunday night and go back in the morning. And in that way, the, I was thinking like, Shraddhanjali was coming with Gopisha so that, you know, Gopisha could get some music lessons. So when they come for these three days, two days or so, the children will get music lesson, dance lesson, and, you know, and all kinds of, you know, childish activities here. And uh, the grown-ups can get uh, different other aspects, education and different uh, Krishna consciousness and other uh, tertiary rel relative uh, uh, knowledge. Like, uh, we are also thinking of having seminars here on Ayurveda, yoga, and vegetarian cooking, and uh, all that. So anyway, that is the idea. Another person, another devotee just walked in. <laughs> this is also Markandeya Das Brahmachari in white. Yeah. <laughs> Markandeya is uh, from Hawaii. Markandeya's parents were also devotees. And his mother was very, very involved. Like, I, when I first went to Hawaii, his mother was the temple president of the temple. And, and then <coughs> Markandeya was assisting her also very nicely. And uh, he's from Hawaii, 
So naturally, he's a surfer. <laughs> he's a very, very good surfer. Can you deal with a 30 feet wave? Wow. <laughs> he said, no. How many you can, how, how big a wave you can handle? 10 feet. Go. 10 feet. The oceans can get, ocean can get quite turbulent. Recently in Australia, we were in a, in a cruise and uh, there, the last two days, the ocean was very turbulent. And you know how high the waves were? 70 feet. Wow. And it was quite an experience. <laughs> So, anyway, anyway, but now that's his past, he's no more <laughs> surfing, and surfing probe, he heard that probe said, it's not surfing, it's suffering. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, but he is very, very involved and very active and very dedicated devotee. He just came here. He lives in, he's in Alachua now. He's assisting the school there in Alachua. And uh, so on. he just came with Krishna Priya to help us here today. Yesterday they came. No, yesterday you came on day before. Thursday. Yeah, right. You came on Thursday. Both of them. <clears throat> so, all glories to the assembly devotee. Amen. Amen.